The two identical probes of the Voyager mission would visit Jupiter and Saturn. In addition, the mission would allow a flyby investigation of Saturn's largest moon, Titan. The second spacecraft, Voyager 2, would have options. The spacecraft would fly by Jupiter and Saturn, but could then continue to Uranus and Neptune. However, if Voyager 1 had not completed its objectives in the exploration of Titan, Voyager 2 could instead be redirected for another investigation of that moon instead of visiting the two ice giants. Somewhat counterintuitively, because of their different trajectories, Voyager 2, using a longer circular trajectory aimed at the grand tour of the four giants, was launched before Voyager 1. Voyager 1 was optimized to visit Jupiter, Saturn, and Titan. This plan allowed flexibility and redundancy. By launching Voyager 2 first, NASA had the option to redirect Voyager 1 to the Grand Tour if the launch failed. As Voyager 2 would not reach Saturn until nine months after Voyager 1, there would be ample time to redirect Voyager 2 to Titan if Voyager 1 was not able to meet its mission objectives there. Voyager 2 was launched using a Titan 3 Centaur launch vehicle, a rocket that married the upper stage of a Centaur rocket to a Titan 3 rocket. The more than 1.3 million pound rocket produced 5,339 kilonewtons of thrust. The spacecraft was launched from Space Launch Complex 41 in Cape Canaveral, Florida on August 20th, 1977, two weeks ahead of Voyager 1. Voyager 2 was the first and so far only spacecraft to visit the Uranus system, with its closest approach occurring in January 1987, where it discovered 10 moons and two new rings before heading for Neptune. Like Uranus, Voyager 2 is the only probe to have directly explored Neptune, where it confirmed six new moons and four previously unidentified rings. Of their mission to the outer planets, Arizona State University planetary scientist Jim Bell told Scientific American in 2015, They were revolutionary. The Voyagers discovered many moons around the planets we never knew were there, and even the ones we knew were there were literally just points of light and telescopes before that. All of a the sudden, they changed to geologic objects, to worlds that had weather and volcanoes and tectonics. It was just night and day. And then, now behind its faster sibling, Voyager 2 headed for the vast unknown. The project was renamed the Voyager Interstellar Mission. The spacecraft passed through the heliopause, which marks the boundary between matter originating from the sun and matter originating from the rest of the galaxy, thus putting Voyager 2 in interstellar space on November 5, 2018, more than six years after Voyager 1. After providing enormous amounts of information about the outer planets, both Voyager 1 and 2 continue to transmit data, giving new information and detecting some scientific surprises about the nature of the heliopause and interstellar space. More than 40 years since they were launched, the Voyager spacecraft are still making discoveries. The Voyager mission is now the longest-running and most distant space mission in history.